Great, beautiful playing. Uh, some nice colors and nice flow, uh, dramatic. Uh, what did you think? So why wasn't there the energy you wanted? Um, I mean, I don't know. I was in front of all the stage. I think it was like four or five hours. But not that many people. Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, right. So you feel a little uptight, so it's a little hard just to be totally free. Anything else? Um, what was that for? Well, if, if you were sitting there, what would you, what do you think you would say to yourself? And when you practice, do you feel that it's coming across and it was just right now, or is it always that way? What is I your feeling? I always feel that way. Like, I'm very unsure if it is, if it's not. If it's, if what you mean, the colors you're getting, are they going out there? Yeah. Right. I heard colors, but I wanted to hear more colors. The thing is that when we're playing, everything we do is amplified by a billion times. I play and I think, oh my gosh, that was so out of tune. That was so flat. And I listen to recordings and say, well, maybe it was on a low side, but maybe I overreacted. You know, everything seems like a lot. And so, oh, I did that color. They're going to hear that color and say, maybe not. So sometimes we've got to be more blatant about it. Oh, I'm going to make a more special color. Can, can I try? Uh, how many Titans are bow? Uh, I like a little more tighter bow. <laughs> uh, everybody has a machine, too. So... Uh... <laughs> you know, how... You know, when, when we have... You know, we were talking about earlier. So I'm not feeling necessarily excited inside. But I want you to think that. I want you to feel, oh, he's ah, like that. I, I guess sometimes I am. But, but I want to convey that in my playing. So, so what, what's doing that? What it is, it's the intensity of the left hand. It's how I grab the string. Both speed. It all is coming together. And I'm trying, how am I going to make this seem like it's... That's what I want, you know what I mean? It's just, it's, it's so well written, this opening. It's just like, it's, you know, it, she did an incredible job of that opening. It's just like, it just works. It's pretty amazing, you know? It's also the release. How much for bottom you? Whatever, that if I were to play this piece, I don't, I don't love the piece. Second, after the first moment, it sort of goes downhill for me, but that's my own taste. But when you get to the, can you, you where is that, the, da da da, you know, the, the next part after the cadenza thing, and we get to this, you know, uh, It's, <gasps> right? It's a breathless quality. And that's what I'm trying to do. And so she writes, you know, forte, piano crescendo, piano crescendo, piano crescendo, forte. She wants this incredible thing. I'm not saying you're not doing it. I'm just saying you need to double it. And also the thing... <laughs> I'm putting a little bit of that in there. So I'm spreading... So I'm experimenting, like, how much bow on this viola? Every viola is different. How much is going to work? That was bad. She put a comma there. 
that comma, you kind of, ah, you know, as I said, inside, I'm not feeling any of this stuff, but I want them to think that. So, so it's like you're almost falling there. It says strong. Strong, yes. But to me, you get to a place like this, first of all, it's number two. It must mean something. That's a joke. So you get to number two. It, yes, I strong, but I think it's also a new color opportunity. This piece has so many opportunities. <laughs> You know, there's a sort of an excess of this piece. You need to exploit that and not be like, oh, I, I can't, no, no, I don't want to, no, 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 no. You know what I mean? Uh, another thing you may want to think about is, as violas, we're never loud enough. So, like, if, if I play in front of an orchestra, the, that letter P, that's a mezzo forte. Well, forte is fortissimo. Fortissimo is as loud as I can possibly play. Orchestra is just like, and the comment, what the conductor says, oh, how do you feel? Oh, it's okay. It's a little loud. If they, especially if they can't really hear me. So it's all, when you're working with orchestra, it's all about being heard. And you're, this is a big piece. It's a big piano part. So when the piano is playing big, you want to make sure you're getting out there. If you go like this, now I, I think it's nice. You're communicating. You're turning in. You can't do that. You just because you know. If I, I think I'm getting more sound out of the instrument, but I would be very aware if you move your viola. Well, What's going to happen with that sound in the hall? And where am I going to play? I'm reacting to the sound that's happening. If I play in a chamber group and everyone's playing big, well, I guess I have to play big. That's, this is life. And so how do we get sound? It's about speed. Oh, you know, where on the string? If I'm playing... You know that. It's the resistance. And sometimes we, oh, that's ugly. In the hall, sometimes ugly is okay. It doesn't come across as, as ugly. And how am I getting sound? I'm getting, oh, let's everybody do this. Everyone put their arm out like this, left arm. Left arm, right arm like this. Just rest it there. Now drop the right arm. What happens here? What do you feel there? Weight. weight. That's the weight I'm using to get the sound. There are different approaches about how to play viola or violin. For me, I'm using that weight. I can play like this. do that. Um, but you see, I'm using the weight of that arm. That's heavy. My arm is heavy. Maybe probably heavier than yours, but it's still heavy. So I'm using that weight, and it's like I have a 50-pound bracelet on my arm. Right now, it's on my elbow because of gravity. Oh, it's coming down to my wrist now. It's there. There's that 50-pound weight. And now it's going back to the elbow. And when I play soft, it's not a 50-pound weight anymore. It's much lighter. So I'm using that weight to get the sound. You know, though. I think you can get a little more sound out, out of this. Just start that opening. Yeah. 
I think you can do even more. Just to slow it. I try to, to, you know, what we're trying to get is that is we also, we think about the sound quality. Yes, it's just forte. It's forte. We want just to be big, but... Just do it slowly once. Okay, now now it does feel a little forced. So, so we find that middle ground of a little grit is okay, too much grit is not okay. So, and also, how much bow speed do we need? Okay, good. That sounds good. Now let's go back. Go, let's go to one for those color things. So, so let's try to just just play that. And and just a lot of just play this. We want a little bit of that, more of that in as as we're doing that. Let's just try that again. Okay, start to. Okay, it's better. You can even do more. So let me just slow down. See, I'm doing more. It's like I'm skating and I'm I'm almost about to fall. Now go to a nice soft spot. Uh, uh, is that, uh, uh, number seven. You see what you're doing? You're saying you're being such a nice colleague. You're turning to, to say hello, but she doesn't need that, you know? So even here, I think, uh, it's, it's this fanciful thing. The more concentrated your bow is, the less fantasy there is. The lighter... Uh, See, that, that makes it seem like it's dreamy. So one more time. Okay, so now it's a little timid sounding, but that's the idea. So, about your posture, for me, our, my posture is, I want to be just like you are. This is your posture, right? That's where you want to be. You don't want to, we don't want to raise anything. That's what every teacher agrees. No teacher says raise a shoulder. It's just the number one rule that everyone agrees on. Everything else is up for debate. I feel a little bit like you raise it a bit. You just want to, you, you know, we want to feel strong. You may have heard something like this, you know, like from the sub-basement of this 
beautiful hall, there's a fire, an inferno that's coming up, and the strength is coming through, through my legs to here, and these are my tree trunks, whatever. I'm using that strength. See, the way I stand, if I stand this way, I stand this way, like this. I want to feel strong, and I want to, it's like, you want your stance, like if I were to push you, how could you stop me from doing it? What kind of stance? That's how strong you want to feel. Then you want to be flexible here. So, I have that, I feel that strength. I'm using that strength, even though I still feel strong. And, but what I think you could be thinking about is like, am I, you know, as I said, people have ideas, different ideas. For me, I like to keep everything relaxed. It's just, I'm a violist, I'm a Californian, and I'm a Libra. These are very relaxed things. It's that I can even move. I can, I, I'm just amazed sometimes. These are too many, too, many, uh, too many things going against any kind of energy. So I want to be strong and relaxed. So my posture in a perfect world, you can see me playing and say, oh, he doesn't do that. In a perfect world, my posture would be like, you know, everything. Unfortunately, it isn't. But that's what I'm aiming for in a perfect world, which we don't live in. Do you see my posture? I'm trying to, yes, I want flexibility, but I, I don't want to do anything in excess that I don't need to, because there's enough to worry about that anything that cons contorts anything. I'm not saying you're all over the place. All I'm just saying is that the machine, whatever, it, you're a little stuck here could be more relaxed, as we were just saying previously. Uh, trying the idea of playing with more of the left hand and say, I can move this thing. If I'm using a shoulder rest, it doesn't necessarily have to be resting there, like it's suspended from the ceiling. You know what I mean? I want it to feel like this is a natural thing. If it's like this, it's, it's not natural, you see? stuck. It's a big, just between this and that. You know what I mean? If I go, he's very tense. Does this? Relax. Always thinking about relax. Okay, let's see how you're standing there. You're standing like this. Is that pretty nice? Let's see if I understand. Oh, it feels good. Right now I have tension on just one finger. Don't do this. I don't want you to drop your viola. But I'm holding that viola with one finger under the scroll. It's pretty relaxed. There's a little tension there. But everything I do, I can think about how I walk down the street. If I walk like this or whatever, is that tense? And you may say, he's crazy, but I want to be strong but relaxed. As far as the playing goes, it's excellent playing. I, as I said, you, know, you have wonderful instincts to, to exaggerate all these things and think about your sound production. You know, make sure you don't turn in too much. You want to, you know, we're never loud enough. Even when people tell us to be quiet, it's, it's never loud enough. You know, in chamber music, we're facing the wrong way. Our colleagues think that we're playing loud because they hear it. They don't hear it out there. It's a never-ending source of, uh, but you know, so you, you, that's what we have to deal with as a violist, as a violist. But, the nice thing is that we play the most beautiful instrument of all, right? Yes. We do play. Say yes, we do play. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.